Do you dive in colder waters and you're wondering whether you should be diving in a wetsuit versus a dry suit? Oftentimes, divers who dive in colder waters ask themselves this question without really knowing what the best answer is. In this video, we're going to go over the pros and cons of each so you can make an informed decision as to whether you should be diving wet or dry. By the way, this video is going to cover the advantages and disadvantages of wetsuits versus dry suits. But if you have any questions about wetsuits and how they work or dry suits and how they work, we have videos that go in depth on those topics and we're going to link them in the description for you to check them out. Let's start with what exactly is a wetsuit? At its most basic level, a wetsuit is a neoprene suit or a neoprene like rubber suit that traps water between your skin and itself to keep you warm. As the name implies, if you're diving with a wetsuit, you are going to get wet. If you're considering a wetsuit versus a dry suit, it's likely that you will be diving a much thicker wetsuit, say five millimeters or seven millimeters. And it's even likely that you're diving with a semi-dry suit. And if that's the case, this is exactly where you would start considering whether or not a dry suit would be a better option. Now, as the name implies, a dry suit keeps you dry. And it does this by creating a seal around your wrists and your neck that keeps water out. Now, because of that, it also creates an air pocket that you're going to need to maintain when you're scuba diving. Dry suits are normally made with either neoprene or trilaminate, which is a shell-like material. Before we move on, if you like this video, please do us a favor and click the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our content. This helps our channel grow and will help other divers see the information you're watching now. Let's move on to wetsuit advantages. The first thing you need to know is that wetsuits do not require extra training to use them. You put them on, you get in the water. They're significantly less expensive than dry suits. They do not require an undergarment to keep you warm and they're easier to swim in in the water. Also, wetsuits have little to no learning curve. You can literally throw on a wetsuit and go diving. Aside from that, wetsuits can be used in warmer climates. And it's generally easier to maintain a wetsuit than it is to maintain a dry suit. Lastly, it's easier to carry your wetsuit and travel with it. So if you're somebody who travels with scuba diving and you want to take your wetsuit with you, they're a lot less cumbersome than a dry suit. Some of the advantages of a dry suit are, first, they keep you dry. Because of this, dry suits are used in much colder environments. There are people who dive in the coldest places on earth using dry suits. They last longer than wetsuits over time, and they keep you warmer underwater for a longer amount of time than a wetsuit, which allows you to have longer dive times. On top of that, your dry suit will keep you dry after your dive. A lot of people like that because when you get out of the water, you will not be wet. Furthermore, when you're on the surface, the dry suit is gonna actually keep you warm. The wetsuit is gonna sap heat from your body because it's wet. The dry suit is not gonna do that. If you're diving in a cold environment, you will be warm on the surface with your dry suit. Also, some people say that it's easier to doff and don a dry suit than it is a wetsuit. And personally, I think that's a, that's a personal opinion and it really just depends on the person. Another advantage of the dry suit is that because dry suits require undergarments, you can change the thickness of the undergarment that you're wearing, which makes the dry suit more versatile. This means that you can dive the dry suit in several different temperatures. Regardless of whether you're wearing a wetsuit or a dry suit, there are two things that you're gonna to have to consider because they're gonna be universal to both. First, if you're diving in really cold temperatures, you're gonna to have to wear a hood because the hood is going to stop your head from releasing heat. And this is a big issue when you're diving in cold water because you lose a lot of heat through your head. Second, whether you're diving with a wetsuit or a dry suit, you're gonna to need to add weight to your kit, to your dive gear, because both of these suits are gonna be more buoyant and are gonna, you're gonna to have to counteract that buoyancy by adding weight. Let's go ahead and talk about some wetsuit disadvantages. First, wetsuits tend to be harder to doff and don especially at the thicknesses that you're gonna be using when you're diving in colder waters. A five millimeter or seven millimeter wetsuit can be more difficult to put on than a dry suit. Second, they don't last as long as dry suits last. 
Your dry suit, if properly maintained, can last you for years. Wetsuits don't la tend to last as long because they're not as durable. Third, they do not keep you as warm as a, as a dry suit will keep you over time. You can dive a much longer amount of time in the water in a dry suit than you can in a wetsuit. On top of that, wetsuits are not as durable as dry suits. Also, if you're diving in colder temperatures, your wetsuit on the surface will sap heat from your body, your dry suit will not. Now for some disadvantages of the dry suit. First, a dry suit requires training. In order for you to dive dry, you're likely gonna have to take a course to learn how to use a dry suit. Second, you have to maintain an air pocket when you're diving a dry suit. This is gonna mean that you're more task loaded than when you're diving a wetsuit. You need to add air as you descend and possibly remove air from the dry suit as you ascend. Dry suits are not as comfortable to dive in underwater. This can be an issue for some people because a wetsuit tends to be more movable, especially when it's wet, than a dry suit. In order for you to maintain warmth in a dry suit, you have to purchase an undergarment because the dry suit itself may not keep you warm. Dry suits are significantly more expensive than wetsuits are, especially when you consider the fact that you need to buy an undergarment to dive with it. And lastly, dry suits require maintenance over time. You have to maintain the seals on the wrist, you have to maintain the zipper. Because of this, over time, the dry suit has a, an expense that the wetsuit does not have. Before we move on, how do you dive? Do you dive wet or dry? Is there anything that we missed in the advantages and disadvantages that you'd like to let us know? Please comment below because we would love to hear from you guys. So let me tell you my story as to why I decided to dive dry. I was taking my cave class up in North Florida. The springs up there are 72 degrees Fahrenheit year round. Now for some of you watching this video, you're probably laughing at me because 72 degrees Fahrenheit isn't very cold for you. However, I was used to diving in warm tropical waters. So for me, it was cold. I was presented with two choices. I could either buy a five millimeter wetsuit or a seven millimeter wetsuit and dive with that, or I could choose to dive dry. I chose to dive dry. There's a couple of factors for, for why I made that decision. First, I really don't like getting in wetsuits and the thicker the wetsuit is, the harder it is to put on. So I knew that it was gonna be easier for me to put a, a dry suit on than a wetsuit on. Second, I was in the water for a very long time. And being in a wetsuit, eventually you're gonna get cold regardless. And third, when I got out of the water and I was waiting between dives, being wet when it was cold up north was something that made me very uncomfortable and I did not want to experience that. Those are the reasons why I decided to dive dry. Now here's the funny thing. When I got my dry suit and I got trained on it and I started diving with it, at first I really didn't like it. It was supremely uncomfortable. I was used to diving wet. And I thought to myself, man, I made a bad choice. However, over time, as I got more and more comfortable diving with the suit and I got more dives in, I became very comfortable with it. And now it's gotten to a point where even if it's even a little bit cold outside, I just go ahead and take my dry suit, put it on and go diving with it because I don't wanna be cold when I get out of the water or when I'm in the water. So let's go back to the first question we asked. Should you dive wet or dry? Well, we're gonna give you some suggestions on what we think would be best based on our knowledge and the information that we've gathered over the years. First, if you're a person who dives in generally cold waters, say 60 degrees Fahrenheit or less, and money is not an issue for you, or if you're someone who gets cold very easily, say in even 70 degree water, then diving a dry suit might be the best choice. However, if you're a person who dives in cold water only sometimes, or you don't get cold very easily, it may not justify the expense and the training needed to learn how to use a dry suit. In this case, you're probably just better off diving in an either five millimeter or seven millimeter wetsuit with a hood. If you're a diver and you like this video, then you're gonna to wanna to download our free guide, The Four Keys to Mastering Your Diving. It's over here on your right. In it, we go over four little known tricks that you can do right away to increase your comfort underwater, become a more efficient diver, and have longer, more enjoyable dives.